Hi, I'm Silvana from Mindomo and today I will explain you our team features. First of all, you should know that Mindomo has different types of accounts tailored for various uses. There's Mindomo for education, work and personal life. We have this big variety to help you achieve your goals. In this video, you'll find out what specific functionalities are in the team account. If your goal is to use Mindomo for work or for personal purposes, you can find four types of suitable accounts. There's the completely free account, premium, professional and team account. Let's see all the benefits offered by the team subscription. You get all the premium features like unlimited number of diagrams, desktop premium license, backup on Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive, editing without internet connection, task management and task notifications, web image search and many more. Besides these premium features, you'll have a special option which allows you to have a custom number of team users. You can choose how many team users you want to have and you can also add more later. For the purpose of this video, I created a team account on this email address. A special feature included in the team account is the team interface, which can be accessed from your dashboard. Here you can manage your team. On the top right corner, you can see all the details of your account. I have 10 purchased licenses from which I have 9 more available and their expiration date. I can add users to my team using three methods. The first one automatically creates a team account for a new user on Mindomo. After I edit it, I can see in the table below the user's email, last sign in, the expiration date of the license and his role. By default, this account was added as a user, but you can make him administrator in one second. As you can see here, the person who purchased the subscription is automatically the administrator of the team. You can also add a team member that already has a Mindomo account by simply writing his email address. If that user had a free account, he'll be automatically upgraded to team access. The last method to add users is to import them in a document. Firstly, download the sample, fill it, then upload it here. On team groups, you can create different groups in your team. For example, I can add a group called Marketing. I'll add two members in this group. After that, I'll create a group called Sales and I'll add two other members from my team. Now that these groups are created, you can benefit from group sharing. Go to the dashboard and you can create folders that are automatically shared with all the group members. You can select what rights you want your group members to have in that specific folder. Besides these features, you also benefit from Microsoft Teams integration. After you logged into Microsoft Teams, you can add Mindomo as a pinned app on the left sidebar. With one click, you'll be on your Mindomo's dashboard. You can also add the Mindomo tab on your channels. You can select one of your mind maps or create a new one. Now you have it directly on your channel where you can edit it with your team. The team subscription also offers you a G Suite and Office 365 integrations. In addition to these benefits, your team subscription unlocks you a total of 12 export formats, like Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Projects and many more. And last but not least, a team asset is storage. You have 15 GB of storage on our cloud where you can keep all your work. These are the advantages of the team account on Mindomo. This is the best choice for you if you're working with one or more teams and if you collaborate with your team members on a variety of projects. You may also want to choose the subscription if you're a business owner or a manager of a company. For more details about other subscription types on Mindomo, check out our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep it smart, simple and creative and see you next time.